Listen, I've got good news for you. Because today, we got the top 10 key points you must know about compartment syndrome as a student nurse key. So let's get started. Number one, compartment syndrome is a medical emergency. It happens when the tissue pressure increases in a confined or restricted body space that it leads to decreased blood flow, tissue ischemia, and neurovascular impairment. Number two, risk for developing acute compartment syndrome are those with casts or bandages that are too tight, crushing injuries or fractures that causes a trap bleeding within the tissues, edema or swelling from burns, snake bites, and other venomous creatures, and those who are taking anticoagulants after a trauma. Number three, educate your patients with cast and crushing fractures or injury to report any increasing pain and numbness. Number four, your priority in monitoring as a future nurse key is the neurovascular status. You want to assess for the six P's and they are unrelieved or increasing pain, pallor or paleness in color, paralysis or loss of movement, paresthesia or changes in sensation, pulselessness which is a late sign, and polar meaning cold temperature. Number five. One of the earliest signs and symptoms of acute compartment syndrome is paresthesia or feelings of numbness or sensations of pins and needles or tingling sensations that progresses into extreme pain and paralysis. Number 6. If the assessment findings suggest compartment syndrome, notify the healthcare provider immediately. Number 7. If not treated promptly, Acute compartment syndrome may lead to irreversible neurovascular damage as well as necrosis in which the tissues die within 4 up to 6 hours. Number 8. The goal of management is restoring blood flow and might include fasciotomy which is surgically cutting fascial tissue to release pressure and possibly a thrombectomy or an embolectomy, which is surgically taking out a clot that impedes circulation. Number 9. Postoperative fasciotomy care focuses on the prevention of infection and the restoration of blood flow to the extremity. Number 10. Chronic compartment syndrome happens from excessive exercise where repetitive use of muscle and movement causes localized swelling and irritation. The symptoms are seen in the legs of runners and bicyclists and in the arms of swimmers. However, these symptoms resolve with rest and very rarely develop to the acute situation. All right, thank you so much for watching. So to get the most out of this, I encourage you to watch this video more than once. It's also good to re-watch this mini lesson as an intro or summary or before or after a lecture or a reading session. And more importantly, go write out the top 10 key things for yourself. Go take a picture of it and send it to my email at rapsnursingnotes at gmail.com and I'll post it on my Instagram at rapsnursingnotes. Hey, I just want to say thank you so much again for all you great future nurse keys who decided to learn with me. And so if you found this beneficial in any way, shape, or form, please share this video with your classmates. Like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. And trust me, you get an A on your next nursing exam.